Magnolia hopes to get back to winning late after blowout loss to Kimbra. Manila, Philippines Magnolia top three is finally over and what took its place are a couple of swinging losses in the late stages of the PBA Commissioner's Cup. The hot up went on a five-game winning streak in the middle part of the conference, but that string of victories eventually ended when they lost to Blackwater, 104-99, on Friday. Retribution, however, didn't come Magnolia's way in the second Manila slate of the season when it lost badly to Durani Gimbra, 102-81, Sunday at Margarana the Coliseum. Magnolia, which went 0-2 in its first two games, is still in the playoff history with a 5-4 record for the fifth seed, but the two straight losses were so crucial to stay the lead. It's kind of hard for us because we were coming off a five-game winning streak and then we lose two straight, said head coach Tito de Tolero. I don't want to make an excuse because our opponents played really well, maybe they were just better prepared than us, added de Tolero in Filipino. The hot off started off strong, taking a 10, Tyson Zero lead less than three minutes into the first quarter after Mark Sarah's jumper. But the Chin Kings made a push and Magnolia headed into the break leading by just one, 47, to 46. Kimbra, however, lit up in the third out during Magnolia 32, to 17 in the period to take a 78, to 64 lead in the, heading into the fourth. Point guard Mark Carlos had tried to will the hot shots back into the game scoring eight in the third but the Chin Kings onslaught already left Magnolia in shambles. These are heavy losses but we just remind ourselves that we have to win at least win first, because it'd be difficult for us if we lose on Wednesday, said Barota in Filipino after he finished with 16 points and 5 assists. The hot up hope to get back on track against rain or shine wherein a victory would help them keep the 6th spot in the standings and prevent them from falling to either the 7th or 8th spot and be in a twice to win disadvantage in the quarterfinals. Our goal is to get to the top 6. And we'll see from there who we'll face in the playoffs, said Baroka. Victoria added that it's imperative for them to win against the Elasto Painters as a loss would give them five losses and they would then rely on Phoenix, Alaska, or San Miguel to lose its matches. Phoenix, 4, to 5, and Alaska, 4, to 6, hold the 7th and 8th seeds while San Miguel, 3, to 5, are in the 9th spot. All three are still vying for playoff spots. F which is my job to motivate and push the players, and we have a chance again on Wednesday, said it in a row. We will try our best and I told them that we need to prepare hard and bounce back because this is our chance again to go to the quarterfinals. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.